What's up? Back with the settlement series that has no intro. Um, I said on the last part that I was going to do a bit more progress because I wasn't really that happy with the progress I did on part two. So, no, is it part two or part three? No, this is part three. Okay, we're on part three now. So, hey, hopefully, wait there. Okay. Make her wait. I'm going to try and get through it, all the progress in a reasonable time, hopefully. So, part three. We've seen all this, so. Oh, uh, I am level 23. I've done a few quests. I started Vault 88 because you get quite a lot of uh, resources from that. I did a few settlement quests. I have. I'm trying to, trying to think what else I've done here. Um. Yeah, that's about it, I think. I've took a few perks. But I'll come back to them in a little bit. Anyway, progress. So, you've seen all this. Wall. And the entrance. So, here we go. This is what I've done so far. Still looks a bit messy, but I'm getting around to it. Uh, I guess we'll start with this. I'm, I'm really happy with this. I wanted to sort of make a little sort of pathway that all the settlers could use and AI does actually actually go up this it doesn't try and walk around it it does actually use this I, f I always wanted to make this little playground in the middle sort of stand out not be overwhelmed by buildings so made this little thing it was all flat at, uh, at first but I sort of made it come down as the hill went down which I quite like put a few picket fences around the place um Made the bottom floor of this because last time I just did the top of the top of the house. So we've got this little area, sort of made it look like a restaurant type thing. I okay, there should be a there should be something here, but there's not. But okay, so we've got this bottom bit now, which leads up. Because I think on the last part I only did start these stairs, so. These stairs now come up to another little balcony area, with a nice little room, and I've also started putting these connectors around the place, and then up here, we've got a generator with a um, recruitment beacon. This generator is probably going to go. I'm, I'm going to make like a a generator room, which then connects all of these connectors. Hopefully, which then powers everything. See, I've also got, I've also put some there, there all around the walls. So I've added that as well. Got this little middle bit and the bottom floor of this with the shops. I haven't really assigned anyone yet. I've assigned Mama Murphy to this place, but that's about it. It's a pleasure to serve so we've got these shops, which I like, and I had to get Cap Collector to. I think Medic 1 and Local Leader 2 to get the uh, trading emporiums. This one was the smaller one because I, I didn't think this type of big shop would look nice on here. So I just did a normal... It's, you, don't, you don't really need the, the emporium for the bars anyway because you don't really buy them any food and drink. So... We've done, we've done this wall... Now we've got this this whole section here, which is which I quite like. Made it so there's a little pathway. Oh yeah, quickly I want to show. There's a little pathway here with a picket fence where the traders go down, so where they can get into their spots. And another picket fence here. I like using these picket fences around the place sort of mixed in with the normal wood the wood uh, fences so yeah we've got this little pathway which goes down to the bus which was already here that opens against me which is annoying and then <clears throat> this is like a little back entrance but I'm gonna go through the main one now so this is gonna this is sort of a general trading got the general trading emporium and the Clothing here, the mannequin. We still, I still haven't filled these display bits yet, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start decorating more once I've got the overall shape of the place, and I've done all the building, the main buildings. 
So I went to do a different the different counters here just to make it look a bit different than this one. And then we've got upstairs using these scaffolding pieces I quite like. And there's a little bit here which I'm I didn't really want to connect to anything. I just wanted to put a uh, sort of turbine up there. Leads up here. Got some orange box cars now. So we've got the blue one over the blues over there. Little room. Uh, another little balcony bit that overlooks everything. I sort of think this is going to be the main house. Because it is the highest up, I think. Yeah. But yeah, you got this little thing. Which comes up here. I'm going to start decorating it more once I've finished, but. Got a desk there. Couch. And then more connectors. Th oh, this wasn't connected to anything, though. So it's a real pain trying to get these scaffoldings to snap into the roof, but I managed to get it done. They are, to be honest, they are the most generous uh, at snapping than most other things, to be honest. And then I thought I'd make a little staircase. I still don't understand you. Got a little staircase that goes down to this bus now. I, I thought, why not have a little bit on the top of the bus? Because then, I think this is where I stopped. Yeah, this is where I stopped. Because I'm going to make this the weapons and armor shops. And maybe like an armory. Maybe this is where the generator could be. I'm going to try and do a, try a different theme with this than these two builds here. But, see, so yeah, we've got a little defense point up here. And then, I think that's it for the inside. We've got the connectors. Done the bottom floor of that shop. Did all of this. And the shops. And then the houses for the shopkeepers to live in. And then we did a little bit of work on the outside here. So we've got the wall. The little sort of wooden staircase. Junked up the bus. Just to make it look a bit more ramshackle. Probably something to do is a bit more work out here, but... This is what we've got so far. Defense. Oh yeah, we didn't quickly run up here and show this. So we've got a balcony out here. I'm still not sure about these trees. I'm sort of wary about scrapping stuff which you can't get back. But these trees just look really bad sometimes. But I don't know. I'll leave them for now. And then this comes out here. The turret. Down here, I started taking. I started running out of picket fences. So I had to take some picket fences from here. That doesn't really matter. Cause I'm not really. Also, we I um junked up all this so you can't see inside. Cause I'm not using that. I'm using I'm not using the main workshop because you can use the the what's it the weapons benches to actually store your junk, which I didn't actually know about until uh, recently. To be honest. We've got a generator in here. Don't know if I've shown that. I quite like. Sort of adds in a little. Because I, I need something to fill that space. I couldn't just have that scaffold just taking up blank space there. Um, I think that's it. Hopefully, I got through this quickly. I've never lost I'm, I'm really proud of this thing here. Like, I really like this because this is then going to this bit is going to branch off towards the armory, which I'm going to do on this house. Make another make another upper floor and a bottom shop area. For this house. Then after that's done, I think that's all the main buildings done, and then it'll just be decorating, just finishing touches, I think. So most likely, if this is part three, do part four would be this, and then maybe part five would be finishing up. And I, this settlement would probably probably be finished on part five or maybe part six, and then I'll do a full tour of the place. Yeah, we've got some new settlers now from the recruitment beacon. That's probably where I'm going to put all these benches as well in this armory area. I was thinking about using some of the, which I don't usually do, using some of the metal prefabs and stuff. I, I never really use these, but I think it would suit an armory quite well. But yeah. Got a nice little barrel in there. Some lighting. I did some light, so I'm, I'm going to light up the place a bit more once I'm done. I think that's a finishing, that's more of a finishing touch, I think. It's astounding how much 
But yeah, hopefully this isn't too long. Quite like what I've done so far. Definitely more progress than the last part. I think I'm gonna most likely start branching this. Oh yeah, I started the Automatron DLC as well, because that's why Ada's here. Because you get the robot stuff from that. So yeah, I'm most likely going to continue working down here. And sort of maybe fix this area up a bit as well. But yeah, that's it for now. Until part 4, I guess. Quite proud of the progress. Guess I'll see you then.